I'll only tell you this once. If you keep trying to snatch my aunt's diary away from me, then I'll make sure to expose you to all of Valley Park, because I think the town deserves to know everything that's inside of the diary if you honestly do plan to use it to help solve the case. Are you sure you want to do that, Ben? Do you really want to put your mother to shame? I, I, I can feel everything falling apart. I can feel it. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. But we're gonna get through this as a family. Most of all, you need to rely on God to help you through this. God's not gonna leave your side, JJ, and neither will we. Are you sure that you're okay with being back in school? I'm already here, Nichelle, but you can still go back home if you're not up to it. The longer I stay away, the more I'd want to stay away. I'll be fine. Okay, Lissa, the very moment you feel off, call me. JJ, it's so good to see you. How are you doing? Am I a joke to you, Finnegan? I told you that we're done. How come you're calling me? Don't get too excited. This isn't some sort of booty call. I called to see if you could convince your son to hand the diary over to you. Benedict, why am I here? I go by Ben. You're here because I found out something about Alvira. What does that have to do with me? Are you sure that you have no idea at all, Isabel? Like I said, why do you need to speak with me about something you found out about your late aunt? Because I discovered that she discovered that you and my uncle had a one night stand 20 years ago. Ulyssa, not now. Wait, how are you? Why haven't I seen you in school lately? I'm here now, aren't I? Yes, but why haven't you been here before today? Are you okay? Why do you even care, Vanessa? I never stopped caring about you. Do you really expect me to believe that when you avoided me in the first place? Ulyssa, I never wanted to avoid you. You're the one who told me to avoid you. You want to know how I'm doing? Well, I understand that demons weren't speaking to me after all. That's a good thing, I guess. It just sucks that I've been diagnosed with an incurable mental illness. Schizophrenia, to be exact. If it wasn't that obvious. I'm really sorry to hear about that, JJ. Sorry? What do you have to apologize for? This is something that's out of our control. If anyone should apologize, it should be me. I'm the one who made everyone sick with worry by running off like I did. You can't be serious. Ben can't even look at me after he found out about us. I didn't say that getting the diary from him would be easy. Easy, Finnegan? It's not possible. Can you just hear me out? I understand how difficult it would be to convince Ben to hand the diary over. What do you mean you understand? I confronted him at his office. Confronted him? Finnegan, what did you do to my son? Where did you hear this from? I didn't really hear it from anyone. In fact, I read it from Elvira's own words. She had a diary and she wrote all about it. Why is that mistake from my past any of your business? Elvira was my aunt and I loved her very much. Did Esador ever find out that she knew about the two of you? I never told Esador that Elvira knew about that night, and I never wanted to think about that night ever again. It was a mistake, and it was a mistake that I wanted to keep in the past. Tough luck. It can't stay in the past as you'd like, Isabel. Elvira's diary is in my possession, and it makes the past feel fresh. Since you know what happened between me and your uncle, what do you plan to do with this information? What are you talking about, Vanessa? Did you forget how you sent me texts telling me to stay away since there was this rift between you and Nichelle after I shared my beliefs with you? I never sent you any texts like that. You mean to tell me that none of these messages came from you? 
Don't beat yourself up, JJ. You were sick, remember? It doesn't make me feel any less guilty. Anyways, I heard that you told my family that I felt like demons were speaking with me. I'm sorry for breaking your confidence. No one knew where you were and I didn't know what else to do. I'm not mad at you, Yvette. Actually, and I never thought I would ever do this, but I should be thanking you. Without you, my family would have been clueless about what was going on with me. Even though I don't want to be mentally ill, at least we know what I got. I just really wish that I could go back to how I was before. Chill out, Idy. I didn't do anything to your precious firstborn. All I did was talk to him and tell him that he was in possession of police evidence. Let me guess. He didn't care because it was clearly obvious that you had ulterior motives. What makes you think that I could do any better? You're the man's mother. That means nothing to Ben now. I'm pretty sure he hates me after finding out what's been going on between you and I. Let's put an end to this call just like I put an end to our affair. Your advice won't get us anywhere. Goodbye. Hey, I'm not finished talking with you. Who's got she so upset so early in the morning? Here's what I don't plan to do. I don't plan to tell your husband about your infidelity, as long as you don't tell Esador about what I uncovered. Okay, do you plan to confront Esador about this? You don't need to worry about that, Isabel. Because I can't face your uncle if you tell him that you know about what happened all of those years ago. I just can't. I don't really care to know what drew you to my uncle that night. But you should have thought about that before you let him into your home. And I've regretted it ever since, Ben. Is that why you're here? Do you think I wanted to hurt Alvera because she found out? Those words never came out of my mouth. So I'd appreciate if you not add words to my mouth. All I'm sure of is that you're not the only person who had a secret which Alvera knew about. But that doesn't stop me from being added to your suspect list, does it? I never sent those texts. This is your name. This is your number. Still, I never once even seen them on my phone when I kept calling you. You saw the text, Ulyssa. You or someone who I thought was you told me to block your number. And you didn't think to try and call my phone and try and hear my voice? From what I read in the text, it didn't seem like you were willing to speak over the phone. Vanessa, I never wanted to stop being your friend. It really hurt me losing you as a friend. And I missed being your friend too. Look, I'm sorry that I avoided you when you had no idea what was going on. I should have worked hard to communicate with you. All of these months lost and it could have been resolved by a simple conversation like this. I really hope that you can forgive me. I hope you can forgive me for not being able to communicate with you either. You're forgiven. But who would take your phone and send me those sort of hurtful texts? Who else do you think? Nichelle? You've got schizophrenia. So what? I bet the old you is still inside. You just gotta figure out how to be you while dealing with this disease. Enough about me. How have you been? Okay. Just okay? Are you sure that you're not going crazy over the photo of you and Max going all over the internet? I think Max would be the one going crazy. From what I saw, the picture is in my favor. It's actually physical proof that could help Max pay for what he did to me. It's none of your business, Terry. Well, forgive me for trying to be a caring wife. Stop trying then. You should know that you suck at it. All I'm trying to do is wrap my mind around why anyone would take the life of a 17-year-old girl. Since Elvira uncovered a lot of secrets, it seemed like someone had the most to gain by getting rid of her. Let me explain to you that I have the most to lose for even attempting something like that. I'm a wife and a mother. For 20 years, I've worked hard to keep my family together. I already took one risk, having a one-night stand with Esidor. I wasn't going to take another risk. Can I go now? I won't stop you. Hey Quinlan, Isabel just stopped by. I'm still gonna have to be 100% sure that Esidor had no idea of Elvira's knowledge about the two of them. Now I can have a serious chat with my dear uncle.